She's been interpreted through a white gaze, a colonial gaze for all of these years. So we wanted to tell her story. We wanted to kind of reclaim her story and tell it from an indigenous perspective. Opera is about big feelings and big emotions and big stories. And this is one of our biggest stories, like the intersection of those two cultures, um, the people who were here and the people who came and what happened. Uh, once we started to invite in collaborators, we looked for, because there are no Beothic people that we know of, uh, but the Mi'kmaq people are really close uh, geographically and also probably bloodlines. And so it's really like all of these indigenous people coming together to talk about Shauna Dithit, to talk about this story, which is like a kind of a founding story of this country, the extirpation of a race. <laughs> There was a real challenge in writing, you know, the music for this piece. Obviously, this is an indigenous story, um, and I'm I'm not indigenous. So, uh, not only that, the Beothic don't uh, exist as a culture anymore. So, being able to go back and find a way to recreate that music just didn't seem um, genuine for the project. Uh, I, I grew up in central Newfoundland, which is the area where the Beothic were. So, I wanted to try to play on the sounds that Shauna did it and I both would have shared. Uh, and in central Newfoundland, that's the sound of the tides, the waves, and the winds, and the rains. Um, and so, in fact, the score began following those natural sounds and, and developed and, and moved from there. You're calling her in, so on the fourth Mary March is when she's like, it's like she's hooked okay. in the back, and so it, on your fourth Mary March, there can be, a, yeah, and then we've tied you together. Yeah, okay. She lived so long ago, and I'm here now, and I am her artistic descendant. Like, I am responding to her work, and so in a way, I am her descendant. And because I don't have children of my own, I think about the work that I do and leaving that for my artistic descendants. So often when we talk about historical figures, we look at them as kind of storybook characters or mythological characters. But Shauna did it was a real person. I think part of the problem is that she's been relegated to just a history book. And what we're trying to do with this project is try to bring that to life and, and to try to breathe life into her story. We wanted to invite in all these different Indigenous artists to respond to her drawings. I'm so grateful to be able to serve her voice, Shauna Diffitt's voice. I hope that people take away from Shauna Diffitt a desire for truth and an impulse to reconciliation.